been a great day so far. Has everyone been having fun with the cosplay? We've got plenty more in store for you this weekend, so lots to look forward to. Um, first off, a couple of the, the more dull announcements. Um, if you've got a big prop or weapon or anything like that, make sure you bring it up to Ops so we can check it out. Um, public venues, so um, we do need to check those things. Um, no messing about with them, please, because, um, yeah, it gets dangerous. Don't be close. Well said by Will. Um, this year, um, as well as a workshop where you can fix any little problems you've got job going on, uh, we've got um, a very well-run set of panels on uh, various cosplay bits and bobs, everything from sewing to stage presence to prop making. Um, check out the schedule, um, lots of interesting things. Uh, it's all in the cosplay workshop, which is just about behind us. Um, we also have this year changing rooms um, in this building, just behind us, and in the Charles Wilson building uh, in the gym. Well, around the corner from the gym, because it's in the, the dealer's room, and Tom doesn't want you changing in there. I don't know if they're girls and they're young. He'll take young, old. I didn't realise I was on. <laughs> So, so the main events kick off tomorrow, we've got the competition starting at 10am tomorrow, all you have to do is turn up, uh, fill in the form, bring in a reference, be it a picture, a statue, a manga, anything like that, and you can take part in that. At the same time we have the cosplay photo shoot going on, also in this main room, um, anybody in cosplay can come along and get their picture taken. Um, after that, of course, we have the Masquerade in the evening. Now, the Masquerade this year um, filled up before the convention. We've got a waiting list for places, so if you're not sure you're going to be taking part, or if you had a, a last-minute cosplay disaster that you just can't fix, do tell us so we can let somebody else in. Um, right now, it looks like we're going to have over 160 people taking part in the parade. Oh which is, I think, a record for England. So, big cheers to yourselves. If you are taking part in the masquerade, we want you um, in the lounge bar at three o'clock for a briefing. And come to Ops and ask questions. <laughs> um, and then at five o'clock, outside concourse so we can get, get you all ready, because obviously there's lots of people to sort out. Um, so that takes us on to Sunday in the Amarque. If you take part in the Amarque, the rehearsals start at 10 o'clock. So make sure you chase us up for that. Um, and <coughs> finishing, off, finishing off the event, we have of course got the cosplay ball. Um, we hope, hope you all made a good effort for it. Um, this year, something special for the King Queen of the Ball, we have um, tickets to the Grand Cosplay Ball in November, taking place in London, to give away to the King and Queen. The King and Queen? And that's about all I have to say, I think. Back over to Will. Notice how prepared he was. Notice how good he is at public speaking. Right, I again yield the floor to Colin, who's got some events announcements.